Not all forces are conservative. Examples are frictional force and pushing force. When these forces do work, the path taken will impact the amount of work. In this figure, one tries to erase a smiley face on board. The two different paths will result in very different work. Therefore, we can categorize work into two groups, one by conservative forces and the other one by non-conservative forces. And we call them W conservative and W non-conservative. The network is equal to the sum of them. Because non-conservative forces do not have corresponding potential energy, the work done by them will change the mechanical energy of the system. Usually, the work done by a frictional force will reduce the mechanical energy and transform into heat. And the work done by a pushing force will increase the kinetic energy only. Hence, the mechanical energy will not be conserved. And the law of conservation of mechanical energy has to be revised accordingly. A term of W sub NC stands for work done by non-conservative forces is needed on the left-hand side of the equation. This term can be positive, negative, or even zero, depending on the non-conservative forces, nature, and direction. Mechanical energy is only part of the whole energy family. There are other energy types, such as solar energy, chemical energy, thermal energy, etc. If we consider all types of energy in a closed systems like the universe, the total energy is conserved. This is called the law of conservation of energy, which can be described as total energy is constant in any process. It may change in form or be transferred from one system to another, but the total remains the same. Sometimes we also describe the law of conservation of energy as the energy cannot be created or killed, only be transformed from one type to another type, or transferred from one system to another system. The law of conservation of energy is a fundamental law in the universe. The transformation of energy is very common and sometimes very necessary. Examples are eating, running, refrigerator, air conditioner, car engine, solar panel, wind turbine, and many more. When one particular energy is desired in a transformation process, a quantity called efficiency is usually used to describe how efficient the transformation can be. The higher efficiency, the better. This quantity is calculated with the following formula. The output energy or work divided by the input energy multiplied by 100%. In this table, you can tell the electric motor can transform electric energy into kinetic energy at an efficiency of 98%, while solar panel can only transform 10% of the received solar energy into electricity. How to improve the efficiency of energy transformation is a very critical topic in science and engineering community.